Hello, this is Simo from Kiras Instruments and in this video I will glue on the fretboard and do all the routings for the guitar body. I'll start by sawing off the bark and then planing and joining the piece. Then over to the drum sander where I'll thickness the piece and get a nice glue surface on both sides. I will saw off an 8mm thick fretboard plank, which in turn is thicknessed to 6mm and then sanded both sides to get a nice glue surface. I will mark the center line and then draw the outline of the fretboard, which is used to saw off the excess. The fretboard is then placed on an indexing plate that has notches for a 25 and a half inch scale length fret slot. The saw has a pin where the notches locate. I'm routing a slot for the truss rod using my homebrew jig. I'm rechecking the straightness of the neck and then clamping the fretboard on temporarily. I'm drilling small holes in the fret slots. These will hold toothpicks that will keep the fretboard in place while gluing. I will let the glue cure overnight. Mother of Pearl is a very brutal material to cut, so I've glued pieces of it to plywood to help keep it from breaking. I'm using a jeweler saw with a spiral blade that lets me cut in all directions. The dust that comes off from Mother of Pearl is very sharp and abrasive, so I'm using gloves and a respirator. The small rubber hose you see is coming from an aquarium pump. This blows off the dust and I can see the outline better. I'm taping the jaws of a small vise to soften them a little, so the inlays won't break so easily while filing.
How about a nice cup of tea? I'm re, re, rechecking the center line and the scale length measurement. These four holes will locate the Evertune bridge in place, so the placement of them has to be accurate within a half a millimeter. I'm routing a shallow cut to triple check everything is in place before I'll drill the holes. And as you can see, I've also reorganized my workshop. Here, I'm marking the placement for the guitar pickups and then routing pockets for them. I use stainless steel CNC laser cut routing templates. Here, I'm marking the center line to the back of the guitar body before routing everything needed for the Evertune. I'm marking places for the potentiometers and for the pickup selector switch. These will determine the place, size and the shape of the electronics cavity. I'm using 4mm birch plywood for the electronics cavity covers. Now that the tea has brewed for a bit, it's time to enjoy it. The hot water has softened the tight bond glue so the mother of pearl pieces just simply glide off. I'm using a Dremel tool with a 1mm router bit to carve out a pocket for the inlay. Curly birch is difficult to route nicely by hand, the grain is constantly changing and the bit easily wanders off the line. I'm applying a small amount of black stain, so the stain has a chance to permeate the wood around it and not get blocked by the glue I'll use for the inlay. I mixed two-part epoxy glue with black pigment. 
epoxy is preferred here. It fills the area around it and doesn't shrink while drying. I'm holding the inlay in while the glue dries, and then I'll let the glue cure overnight. I'm clamping on my networking jig and then marking the places for the neck bolts. I'm using M6 threaded inserts for the neck, for which I'll have to drill 8mm holes. A small piece of Wenji broke off while installing the threaded insert. I'll just glue that back in. I'll bolt the neck to the body for the first time and check for the fit. I'm checking that the fretboard is straight and if needed I'll adjust it with the truss rod. It's time to finalize the neck profile. There's a visible glue line on the scallop. I'll have to take that out with the drum sander. I'm marking places for the tuners and then drill 10mm holes. Back to the neck working jig. I'll place supports under the neck and then form the fretboard radius with sanding blocks. I'm finishing the fretboard by hand with finer and finer sandpapers. I'm staining the fretboard for the first time and then wiping off the excess. And this is a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching.